So what is going on guys, Bubbly Space Pirate here, and playing something a little weird. I played this, I don't know, six months ago, and I had a lot of fun playing with it, but it didn't have a lot of content in it, because it was like beta phase or alpha phase, I don't remember. And that is Pit People. It is like a super corny, animated game that, I don't know, I, I had a blast playing. And they've come out with some updates, so, well, you can see at the bottom, it says full release out now, so the full game is out now. Um, so, I thought it would be fun to play, um, and I know you can see my cat in the background, she's laying under my blanket, so that's a little side note, but anyway guys, let us get into this. I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos, and I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt, more orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms, yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes, yes! Speaking of which, What the fuck? Let's see. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Eat the child, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Like this combat still the same. Cool. Y'all ready to get rooked? Get him, boy! Get him! Ooh, get fucked. I said Horatio dies. Horatio ain't dying today. Horatio gonna wreck some faces. Oh, of course you do. XO, XO. His name is Child Eater. What the hell? Oh, one arrow? Look at you being all boss mode. 
With nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until <laughs> I decide to end his misery. What fun. Oh, who is this? That's right, run, little man, you tiny coward. Run for shelter. It's not a trap, trust me. You should go to the roof. There's lots of shelters up there. Comforting shelters. Tons of shelters. Trust me, it's going to be awesome and shelterous. Yep, there's still more stairs. So much shelter. There's like five shelters. Can you dress it up, dog, with your cake? <laughs> hey, Horatio, look over there. Going up. Ding. What's this? A beautiful lady. She looks hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. No, you shared your berries. How generous of you. Her name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. What the hell? Master, no! <sighs> yeah, I can't stop yawning. Oh, the one with the mustache told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. Mm. She doesn't have a weapon. <laughs> Let's do it. Let me keep moving. That shield is nice. Another one down. I do not want to fight that big guy. Stop moving. Oh, he got a free attack. Interesting. I'm a sorry for Master. No. I'm not the horse. Master. No. I'm a sorry for earlier. He's dead. Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset?
I love this game. With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies <laughs> Captain Worthless, and what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and eh? his home and... Where are you got it? Yes, you did. How did you wait there? Where are I you? see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus the... Yes, the city. How it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. So where do I go? From here? I guess. 